Before we start this video, I would like to remind you that we have started uploading our first team previews of the 2021 season over on the Ascent Cycling channel alongside Tim Soski. We've done Astana, Lotus Sudal, UAE, and today we released Jumbo Visma. Um, it would mean a lot to, uh, to me and to Joe if you were to give it a listen. So, yeah, like if you've got some time to, to kill, you're working for your exams, anything like that. You've got, a, you've got a podcast in the background ready to be listened to. But apart from that, let's get on straight into the video. What's up guys, Black Walzer, and welcome back to another video. And today we are back on Pro Cycling Matter 2020 for the first ever classic of the 2021 season. Let's fucking go, come on. Right, it's not the best one. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be very upfront with you. It's not Milano San Remo, right? It's not none of that. It's the Grand Prix d'Ouverture La Marseillaise. But oh boy, I've never been this hyped for a fucking race in Marseille. Trust me. Trust me. It's the start of the season. We had no down under. We had no Seagull. We have no trophies in, uh, in Espania. So, yeah, we're in Marseille. We've got a start list ready. We've got the new kits, except the one from Nipo, from, from EF, sorry. Um, and, I mean, I'm genuinely looking forward to this. And I mean, realistically, there's only one team I could really take for this race. It would be Delco, as the team is based in Marseille. Uh, however, I was just looking at the team, and let's be honest, it's, it's not great. Uh, it is this year quite a tough parkour compared to what we, uh, we, we used to have. Uh, so I'm going to scroll through a few teams. I actually had a plan to go with Delco, um, but I feel like it might just be a, a tough pick. I'm going to go with Xelis Roubelli Metropole. With the 36-year-old Julien Tomarqué. Um, it's a long shot. Uh, it's a rider I've... I mean, I used to have him in career mode 10 years ago when he was riding for Roubaix Metropole at the time. Um, he was, at, I'm going to guess, like 25, 26. So, yeah, I've always had a, a soft spot for him, thanks to PCM. We're going to see how that goes for the brand new debut... Uh, for the debut, sorry, of the brand new team, Xelis Roubaix Metropole. Oh, it's a plus four. Fucking come on! Julien Tomarki, 36 year old, against some of the top riders in World Tour, as we do have World Tour teams coming to, uh, to Marseille. Um, the lack of races mainly forced a few, a few teams to come here. The lack of Lotto Sudal, UAE Emirates making um, their debut with Matteo Trentin as leader, or having Matteo Trentin making his debut. Uh, you have the new Ajadozer Citroën team. Let's take a look at that kit. Wow, it's even. More ugly on, on PCM. Um, you've got obviously the uh, Direct Energy team making um, or seeing Pierre Latour, but mainly former Sky and YouTube Pro Cycling rider Edval Brassenagen. It just feels weird to see him in this jersey. I'm, I'm gonna be very, very upfront with you. Uh, I'm gonna guess that's Maxime De Vita. I probably should have like looked up at the name of my riders, uh, but I didn't do that. So we'll move, um, but yeah, De Vita can protect Julien Tomarki. We'll have someone protect Julien Levaux as well, uh, or Jérémy Levaux plutôt. Got a few attacks, got a few attacks. I, mean, I, am a, I, am, I am a continental team. I am a very much continental team, and it's a French race. So you, let's go, Balabin the breakaway with Levasseur. We'll see how that goes. Uh, there's a couple of attacks along the line. We've got the riders from Saint-Michel with Adrien Guillonnet. We've got Sacha Vemes for Top Sport. Matt Le Tournier for Delco Marseille. Okay. Well, we've got the breakaway. Uh, I was just looking at the EF kit. I know it's been released, uh, I think today. I think it's been released like an hour ago at the time I'm recording this. Um, so it hasn't been made yet on PCM. Uh, but for the upcoming races, I will do with the 2021 20, DB. Uh, you better believe that the jersey will be here. We've got a breakaway with William Bonnet, Levasseur, Gonzalez, Van Bosch, Tom Scully, uh, Luca De Rossi, Rémi Rochas. Thibaut Ferras, Pascans, uh, Louvet, which is not the one I know, and uh, Galvan for Can Pharma. Is that two riders? No, that's one rider for Can and one rider for Carvural. Um, I'll first glance at some of the new kits for the Peloton. And actually, you know what? Let me know, guys, in the comments, which kit do you prefer out of this Peloton? I might do a tier list very soon. Um, and I do have to say that this kit right there, the UAE one, is... Uh, very very nice in my opinion. I do love the the, the shade in uh in the uh, I guess the the armpits. I don't know. It just looks very cool. And mainly it's Matteo Trentin. So I've just remembered that I'm not going to be able to win today. 
This is also one of the first time I've done the Grand Prix La Marseillaise on PCM. Uh, and that's the second time I've done this variant. I can't remember when I did the first one. It might have been with Williams Martini, for those who've been following my channel for my um, career mode content. Um, but it's a very, very cool variant. That's the sole reason as to why I'm racing today. I mean, it's also the opening race and all of that. But the, the, the usual Marseillaise is quite boring. This one is actually genuinely fun. Uh, you've got a few climbs along the way. You don't have that massive climb in the middle that drops everyone, but then everyone comes back. Uh, because, I mean, everyone knows how to play La Marseillaise at this point. It's been the same race for about five years. Uh, but it's very cool, it's very cool. And uh, towards the end now we'll have the Col des Crêtes, which is where Julien Tomarki will have to hold on. I don't know if I'll play a sprint card or an attack card for now. I mean, I've got 77 hills, 17 sprint. So I think I could be fighting on both terrains unless Matteo Trentin is still in the final group. So there's been a crash involving every one of my riders except Anto Marquis and De Vita. And see! Well, we're about seven minutes behind the breakaway now. Good, good. So, Julien Levo, uh, my sprinter, will not be able to help me whatsoever in the final uh, kilometers of this, of this race. 38 k to go. We are slowly coming back on the breakaway. Uh, I now have a sort of a dilemma. I don't know if I should stay in the break with Levasseur or uh, just back in the peloton. Or go back in the peloton, sorry. It's better if I use a verb. Uh, start can use Julien. Or help Julien. Um, we'll try to make this climb and I think we'll drop Levasseur for the next one. Yeah, the rest of my riders aren't gonna come back. Um, it's just, just an L, just an L that they've crashed. Also, that I wasn't really paying attention, but mainly that they crashed. Attacks in the leading group, as we've just started, the Col des Crêtes. Alright, come on. Come on, Julien. You need to hold on. You need to just manage your rhythm in this climb. It's already a huge tempo, led by Vegard Steck-Langen. Uh, Le Vasseur can now protect Julien Tomarki. I think that's the best thing to do. Julien can accelerate, try to navigate through the peloton, trying to avoid being blocked here by Aurélien Paris Peintre. A lot of riders currently um, blocking or Julien Tomarki. Uh, oh, I don't like our current position here. We're gonna get blocked here. We're gonna get blocked here. We're gonna. There's gonna be a group. There's gonna be a group. No, 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 no. Julien, come back. Come on, Julien. I know you've got the legs. I know you've got the legs. You're strong today. You're strong. T'es grand aujourd'hui. Come on, Julien. It's Julien. I need to stop calling him Julien. It's Julien. Come on. All right, he's strong. I can tell you right now, off the top of my head, this man has some very, very good legs. And we've managed to come back in the leading group, despite having a, a little scare early on in uh, the very beginning of the Col des Crêtes. 80 riders left in the first group. The question is, will that stay after this little hill in many? Uh, this descent which most likely will cause a few riders to get dropped we'll see how it goes all right now i feel like relying on uh some of the teams that have teammates is the best thing to do uh mainly relying on a uh, on um direct energy and rg 2 julien is in a decent position le is going to block me though eventually uh i'm getting a few frame drop issues i don't know why uh i apologize for that it's very odd uh, oi, 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 lads, lads, calm down. No, 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 who the fuck are you? Jonathan Hiver, fuck off. Right, cheers, Winter. Is that, is that Trentin? Yep, that Trentin, that, Matteo Trentin at the back of the group. Come on. My good downhiller. Nah, not so much. For now, let's follow Calmejan. Let's try to, uh, recover in the wheels of the, uh, leader of Age de Citroën. Attacks by Turgis. Calmejan, it's time to go. Thank you, Calmejan. It's time to go a bit more, mate. Oh, Tim Wellens is gone. Tim Wellens is gone here. Oh. Okay. Perez trying to do the same here. Andrea Pasquale is still a water performance by the leader of, uh, of Wanty. All right, Tim Wellens on his own. 10k to go for the Belgian against a group of six riders chasing him down. Um, Herada has a teammate, so Anthony Perez needs to kill himself at the task to try and come back on the uh, former winner of the Eneco Tour. Huge, huge effort by Anthony Perez. Massive effort by the rider from Cofidis. He's going to catch Tim Wellens' water performance. Absolutely stellar job. Right, we're going to stay in the wheel of Andrea Pasqualon. Philippe Gilbert will not come back. Pierre Latour will not either. Who's attacked? Calmejan is gone. Oh, God. Okay, I didn't see, I didn't see that coming, but I, I read that from you. 
All right. Can we win the Grand Prix d'Ouverture de la Marseille? When final place, I don't like that. I do not like that position at all. Can we come back? No. Okay, I'll, I hate my position. I hate being in last place. Can we make a late comeback? No, we cannot. The win is for Julien Tomarki, ahead of Pascual and Turgis. Julien Tomarki comes in fourth place. Disappointing. I had the legs to win today. I just didn't take the correct wheel. Um, I just, yeah, expected Pascual not to be last of the group. Fourth place for Julien Tomarki. It's not too bad, but it's not really what I wanted, was it? Uh, Wellens was strong. I think I might have been stronger than him, to be honest. I think I might have been the strongest, uh, but tactically speaking, I wasn't the smartest. I actually forgot how the finish was. I expected it to be um, similar to, I mean, the old variants, so like a long straight line for 3.5k. Uh, turns out it wasn't. It was just a, a downhill finish for 900 meters. And I just couldn't get the legs. But it's fine. It's fine. It's an opening race. Uh, I mean, it's still Julien Tomarki doing very well against the likes of Calmejan, a Tour de France stage winner, Tim Wellens, Pasqualon, Anthony Turgis. Overall, I'm not exactly disappointed by our performance. Um, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this opening race of the season. It has been a very a cool pleasure. It's been, a, it's been a nice, comforting ride to go back on a on PCM to do some classics and not career modes. I hope, as I said, you've enjoyed it. Um, I'll be covering most of the World Tour races. I mean, actually, I'll be covering every World Tour races and some uh, Pro Conti. If there's any race you guys want me to do, then let me know in the comments and I will try to make that happen. But I have been Blackwall. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, guys. Remember to check out the podcast first link of the description and I'll see you very soon. Have a great one. See ya. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm leading. But them all the man need feeding. I don't wanna go bombie. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from feeling. Leading the pack in black, and I'm on with the bad. Stopping with a phone and dab. Boss up a man with the duster. Put him in the drip and sip, blockbuster.